64 Josh, this is a first look at Sky Gambler's Afterburner. All right, so we're going to uh, we're going to take a look at this here. It, I, I'm kind of excited. I love flying games myself, so I'm um, I'm excited to check this one out. Looks pretty good. I'm fairly certain this was a mobile game that got ported over to the Switch. I, I could be wrong, but I'm I'm fairly certain that is the case. Um, I do this live on twitch.tv slash n64josh Saturday mornings if you want to come check out the uh, uh, the first looks live where we just we check out new new uh, sometimes new sometimes maybe they've been out for a little bit uh, switch titles uh, from the eShop or even you know even the AAA retail titles that drop what well, just kind of whatever whatever's going on for the week is what uh, is what we will check out so um, we're gonna jump into Sky Gamblers here. You guys can hear the nice little rumble of the jet, I'm hoping. So, I want to get, uh, um, here we go. Just make sure I'm in the right directory with Twitch, and we are. So, let's check this out. We're going to jump into uh, single player. Looks like there's some tutorials here. So, we'll, uh, we'll check it out. We'll check it out. Well, like I said, I love, I love flight games. They, they are, they are uh, one of my favorite games to play. I was a huge fan back in the day of uh, Crimson Skies on the original Xbox. Um, that would be a game that if Microsoft wanted to... If, whoa, that's a little bit loud. There we go. We'll, we'll turn that one down just a hair. Whew, that, uh, there you go. Okay, here we go. So, controls are disabled. Got it. Okay, cool. Different views. I like it. Missile lock. Okay. Speed indicator. Looks like we're slowing down. Okay, we're okay. I like the... the there we go. A game called Afterburner. It should have some good afterburners, right? Looks like it does, so that's that's a plus. Got the altitude indicator. All right. It's kind of weird doing a tutorial where I don't get to touch anything. Like clouds are looking good. I'm I'm just ready to blow some stuff up. So hopefully that's going to happen very very soon here. Got radar. Okay. Good to know. Uh oh, it's gonna. I lost him in the sun, goose. Okay, no, we're okay. Here we go. Enemy detection. Okay. Oh, I think we're gonna get to blow something up very quickly here. I know that's what you're all here for, right? Ooh, look at this. We have a variety of weapons. I like it. Okay. This tutorial's taking a little bit longer than I'd like. Let's go. Come on. Time to blow stuff up. <laughs> Mel says, in before he blows his plane up. <laughs> oh, we're heading to New New Zealand. Okay. I like it. <laughs> At least something. Uh, something will be... Will be uh, blowing up, right? Okay. Now we're going to look at, at, at steering. Okay. Speed. Uh, yeah. Sounds pretty good in the headphones, uh, Cryptic. Sounds, sounds pretty good. The music's pretty good, too. And, uh, just you know it's just kind of there in the background not something that's like you know obnoxious or anything like that so we're slowing down there we go you've mastered the hey i've mastered the basic skills of slowing down
Okay. I feel like I... I feel like I could have uh, skipped this tutorial, maybe. You know? Do a barrel roll. You really... Ooh, you really hear that thing rumbling. I like it. I like it. Okay. Gain some altitude. Decreasing altitude now. So, I mean... Look, I've always loved these flying games all the way back to like the, uh, uh, I used to play like a F-14 Tomcat game, I think on like, no, it was called Jet Fighter. It was on PC. The graphics were terrible. This was like when I was very, very young. I'm talking like playing on my parents 486, right? Like, uh, it was, it was, uh, yeah, it was bad, but you know what? We loved it. So. Um, it was what we had, but then Top Gun on the uh, on the NES, you know, loved loved those kind of games. If I hit the brakes, they'll fly right by. I don't know about you guys, but I like. I didn't mind trying to land on that aircraft car carrier on Top Gun, you know. Learn about stalling, okay. Here we go, we're stalling it out. Stalling. We're <laughs> we are stalling. When do I get to shoot my guns? Okay, came out of the stall. Excellent reflexes. All right. Proceed to the waypoints. Okay. <laughs> Before I go into space and find out this is a Star Fox prequel. <laughs> In a world where everyone has pet foxes, one pilot takes his to space. Controls are tight. I like the way this game feels a lot. I can't wait to get into some dogfights. Like, I'm really, really liking it. So these waypoints are fun, but I really want to blow something up. Oh no! Eject! No! I am going to blow up my plane first. Did I live? Did I make it? I I hit the ground pretty low, I think. Did my chute even open? I'm so concerned. <laughs> oh, I guess we're okay. So let's see. Let's see what the the first campaign uh, the first campaign mission is like. We've yet to fire any guns here, so oh I I bet you there's another tutorial, actually. I bet you there's another tutorial. <laughs> All about firing those guns. Nope. 
here we go. Campaign war game. Ooh, let's go. Here we go. This round goes to Mel. Yep, in before he blows up his plane. Yeah. Yeah. All right, we're heading to San Francisco. <laughs> do <laughs> do any rounds not go to Mel? That's uh it's a good question. Heads down. Good question. All right. I'm ready to dogfight. Here we go. Here we go. Twenty twenty three. Okay. We cut it a little close there, didn't we? All right, listen up. This is General Baker. My name is General Glenn Baker. And during today's exercise, you'll be fighting unmanned aircraft. In other words, drones. Well, I could sure use some target practice. <laughs> oh, so many voices. So many voices. I just want to shoot things. There they are. Well, I got Glenn Baker's voice way wrong. I thought he was going to be far more grizzly. There's the missiles slowing on down. Auto targeting's pretty, uh, obviously pretty apparent there. Not even doing, not even having to lead stuff all that much. <laughs> That's how you do it, son. Stalling. Why am I stalling? Okay. We got both of them already. Oh, that was a lot of... Oh, no. wait, did I shoot them down? Sorry, Lucky. <laughs> Uh-oh. Ev evasive maneuvers. All right, here we go. I'll get the bogey off your tail. Where'd Lucky go? Where's... Where's Lucky? Wow, their volume just is from zero to a hundred. Like, whoa. Doing some barrel rolls. Yeah, this game is $19.99 on the eShop, if you want to check it out. I believe there's a, uh, I, I, I believe the other games have had online multiplayer, so I'm assuming it's no different for this one. So I like the way they have you leading your targets, actually. You want to put your, your reticle on, not on the ship, but actually you want to, you know, or the other uh, planes, you want to put it in front of them so you can lead, lead your shots. Oh, the D-pad's got the fancy moves. Okay, good to know. So see, I'm targeting way up there to hit that guy. Uh-oh. We're taking damage. Yeah, I like that. I don't know that I've ever seen that in a uh, in a flying game before, where it actually shows you where you need to target. Typically, typically, it's just up to you to figure out where to lead your shots. So that's that's a nice touch. All drones down. 
So there you go. This has been a first look of Sky Gambler's Afterburner. Not, uh, not too bad. Not too bad. So, uh, thank you so much for watching. I'll be talking about this game more on the Nintendo Powercast on Tuesday, 3 p.m. Pacific Standard Time if you want to come watch live on Twitch.tv. Otherwise, you can check it out on iTunes, Google Play, and even right here on YouTube. Thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next one. Bye now.